Hi, Gary Heine here with the Food Growing People and I'd like to say hello to Valerie who's out uh, in California still and today I wanted to show you all how to make a great green smoothie because it's so good for you it's pretty simple to make and uh, this is my cluttered kitchen and we might make another a video later about how I declutter my kitchen but today it's going to be cluttered so anyway what I did is last night I took a cup and a half of water and put it in this blender and then I put 20 almonds in and uh, I use raw and organic almonds and I let them soak overnight because then they start to sprout and enzymes start to work in the almonds and make them much more digestible. So that's what I'm going to use as the base and then I have this great salon cinnamon that I get from nuts.com. I'm going to put a tablespoon of that in there. We're going to have the recipe for this in the email that we're sending with this video and also going to have a source list where all the stuff comes from if you have trouble finding it at your own local natural food uh, spots or whole foods. And then we use nutritional yeast, a tablespoon. It's got a lot of B vitamins. I wanted to tell you about the, the Salon Cinnamon. I use that and I get the Salon Cinnamon Sticks from Nuts.com and then I grind them up in the blender because it has a taste unlike any cinnamon that I've ever tasted. It's just amazing. It's Salon Cinnamon. That's what I use. And then I use a tablespoon of nettles, a nettle leaf, and because it's so good for allergies like uh, animal allergies, plant allergies. I, I use it all the time and I get a big bag from Mountain Rose Herbs because it's a lot cheaper that way and we'll have the link for Mountain Rose Herbs. They s sell all kinds of great organic herbs. What else do we have here? We have hemp protein powder. I've tried a lot of different protein powders and this is the one I like the best. It's organic. And I put in three heaping tablespoons of that. And then I put in a heaping tablespoon of coconut oil, which is so good for you. All right. And then I take a half a cup of organic blueberries. These I happened to pick last summer at a local farm and froze them and they're still uh, good. Then I take uh, two halves of a banana that I froze. I keep frozen bananas in the freezer. Put that in there. And then I, I do a chunk of uh, kale. You could also use spinach if uh, you want something that's a little less green tasting. Uh, you could use collard greens. Put those in there. And I'm just going to put them on the blender, turn it on. And then, just got this cup. I just pour that delicious green smoothie in here. It's nice and cold, has all those great vitamins and minerals from the greens, from the nutritional yeast. The bananas give it a little sweetness, the blueberries give it a little sweetness. It is so good. And you can make this at home. I've adapted this recipe over the years and you can do the same thing. If you don't like something that I put in, put something else in that you like and make it your own. And it's something that's pretty simple. I can have a big cup now. There's enough for a a cup for later so um, I'm giving myself a lot of great nutrition and it's really easy so hope you enjoy it and um, drink more green smoothies. Thanks!